हेलो ग्रोयर्स वेर इन सब्सक्रेट कलटिवेटेड टोमेटो प्रोजेक्ट चेरी टोमेटो प्रोजेक्ट सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस मोर ऑन दि ब्लॉजम एंड रॉट यू सी हियर देर इज अ रॉटिंग एट द ब्लॉजम एंड सो दिस इज कॉल्ड ब्लॉजम एंड रॉट प्राइमरीली बिकॉज ऑफ द कैल्शियम डिफिशियंसी यू सी इट आलसो स्टार्ट इन द यंग फ्रूट्स so although there is sufficient amount of calcium the calcium is the mostly a lazy element which does not move quickly into the young plants so calcium is highly immobile element and those symptoms can be seen on the young uh, young fruits especially this is quite common in solanaceous tomato capsicum chilli brinjal we see this kind of blossom and uh, blossom at the end we see the symptom so what are the major reasons for uh, blossom and rot to happen primarily although it is a calcium deficiency no doubt and there are other parameters significant parameters that influences blossom and rot to occur more frequently suppose the uh, in the grow back the moisture is less there is a too much of variation in the moisture uh, the moisture drains out quickly and not enough moisture in the grow back and the calcium does not get transported and second reason when there is no uh, insufficient level of calcium and the calcium does not get transported and third reason when there is a high humidity the humidity is more than 78 80% or 85 90% close to the absolute humidity and there is not enough uh, root pressure there is no transpiration that times blossom and rot can happen and fourth reason variety although we have many varieties here some varieties behave show very quickly the blossom and rot symptoms make sure when you uh, when this kind of symptoms happen what went wrong last week maybe if you see if you notice this one and the fruit get developed then it it is almost a non marketable fruit so check the weather data what was the weather prevailing weather in the data recording sheet and then see whether the sufficient level of calcium is been given or humidity levels have been captured properly if there is a humidity low humidity or high humidity what are the necessary corrections measures have done and what level of calcium is being pumped uh, in in ppm level how, how much ppm need to be done how to get it corrected increase ppm correct work on the humidity level and also work on temporarily spraying of uh, liquid calcium if there is not enough calcium being uh, uptaken from the root system temporarily we can use calcium liquid calcium 2 uh, 2 ml per liter and spray once in 15 days along with that calcium liquid boron can also be added and can be sprayed so this is how we can overcome make sure if if you have multiple varieties if it is only one variety is showing this kind of symptom and make sure that variety should be avoided uh, going forward thank you so much